most of the water children are loners. Why is it like that, Nana? I'm tired of being alone. I need someone in my life. I want to get married. I cannot stay like this forever. And is it, does it always have to be like that? That we, the water children, have to be alone? Nana, please help me out. Welcome to I of Ancestors Kingdom. It's me, your queen, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area. How are you doing, family? I hope all is well with you on your spiritual journey and all is well with your family. Welcome once again. So, um, someone contacted me and we're talking about this thing. And um, sometimes it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated because it's not everything that I, 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 I'll be typing and typing and typing. And uh, family is uh, too, it's too much for me. I need to come out. After 21 days fast enough, uh, um, I needed some time for myself. Um, I still need some time because after such a fasting, the refeeding and everything, you know, um, I need some time for myself. That's why I don't come out so often. But I read comments and um, I'm, I'm around. I'm not leaving you alone. I'm here to guide those that I can guide, those that I can help. Once in a while, I used to post things. So let's let, let's start. Let's talk family. So um, people, I don't want you to keep it in mind, to put it in mind. And everything that you do, especially when it comes to the relationship of the water children, that, um, oh, it's like that. I'm single because uh, the great mother wants me to be single. Or I'm single because um, we, the water children... Um, Mm, it's so hard for us to find someone to marry. I don't want you to put that in your mind. And people have this misconception that many times they used to say that, oh, the children of uh, the waters, it's so hard to, um, to be with them or to marry them. Yes, but not all. It's, it's not all. There are some group of people who are married who are water children, who have their family, who are living their life, depending on the calling. I think I had a program like this, you know, but um, let's talk about it. Um, depending on the calling that you have, the greater the calling, I've said it before, for you to have uh, to be distracted on your journey and it's better for you to be alone, then you will be alone. Yes, sometimes you will feel it. Like how people used to contact me. It hurts me so much because most of the people who used to contact me, both men and women, the problem here is like they feel so lonely. And it, 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 it hurts me inside whenever I, he, I hear this. You know, we are all humans. Yes, um, our, our, we are spiritual beings having this human, uh, the human experience. Some, someone writes... People, sometimes you, you people, you use so big, big names that um, I cannot even refer it. But whatever, you know, you know, you know yourself um, that um, as we have in this human experience, having sex is part of it. Having children is part of it. Getting married is part of it. Yeah. But some of us will get married. We will have the taste of it. We will get that divorce. You had the taste of it already. Some of us will have children and um, you have the taste of it. Yeah. Everything that got to do with the human experience. You get used, you, you get, you be, uh, 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 you get abused and all those things all are part of the human experience and we need to go through it. So getting married is also part of it. But then also there are a group of people who will not even marry at all. But that doesn't mean that they will not even have relationships. Because family is, is not that, that easy. I'm not here to light dirt it in, in, into anybody's face or to sugarcoat anything. The journey is not easy. Yes. So to combine the spiritual and the physical, it's not always that easy like that. And it takes someone who really understands your journey. Especially, I'm talking, this, uh, this topic goes especially for those who are the calling, the chosen ones on this, on, on this journey. Hmm? 
You can use it when as a water child. This is universal. This message is universal, but it goes more for the for the water children because it's mostly the water children who used to contact me with such questions. So then you can choose. It's not by for, by force. When you have a calling and you are like, no, um, I want to enjoy life. Yeah, I want to get married. I want to have children. I don't. I I cannot live without 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 it. Good. Then you have to find a way to keep your calling aside. What you have to do, you need to get um, 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 go for consultations or maybe um, get in touch with some spiritualist who will help you go through all that. Then when the gift that you have from your ancestors or when it's a family thing like this that can be transferred to another family member, then let it go. And what they would demand, uh, some rituals that you need to do so that you can just leave that so-called normal life then you'll be free from it it's all it's also possible but for those who have chosen who have chosen this life yeah to uh, 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 um to answer their calling to leave for their calling you cannot have it all because sometimes you you you, you need you need to be alone on your journey your spirits will come true. They need to talk with you. They need to teach you. You need time for yourself. People who will contact you. People, it's not a game. Many times my telephone is full. Before I finish even reading one comment or maybe reading some messages, another one will be coming. Sometimes I have to put my own aside and concentrate on people. And I've not even made it as my full-time job. So for those who are really doing it as a full-time job, where will you put your private life? So um, being alone doesn't mean that maybe you are totally alone. No, 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 no. There will be people around you. Around you. But I mean, I think um, uh, most of the people who contact me, they are talking about um, to have that um, intimacy um, that, that, uh, uh, that, that, let's say that love, that, that love life, whether you are a man or you are a woman, you need someone who will understand your calling. You need someone who will accept your journey because when they don't accept it, it's going to be very fatal. I, I used to say it is going, it's going to be a very big problem because you'll be doing rituals to be closing doors. You'll be doing rituals to keep things away. And when you don't have someone who is faithful, we are in 2024. Mm? When you don't have someone who is faithful, will go and be bringing some evil spirits, some funny spirits into the family. And you always have something to do because you need peace of mind. You need a clear mind, clear conscience to concentrate on your journey. You don't need stress. Stress like maybe, let's say you are a woman and your problem is like your husband is a cheater, for example. Yeah? For you to concentrate on your rituals, for you to concentrate on other things, maybe for you to go out to the ocean, to the waters, to the land, to do things that you have to do, then you will be at home concentrating on where is he right now? Is he still with that girl? Is he cheating on me? No, the spirits will break it because when you be start behaving like that, that means you cannot concentrate. You are concentrate too much in on this in this uh, about this matrix. You are in there. You are trapped. So we need to free our mind. We need to be free. No, you need to detach yourself. No attachments. You need to be ready for everything, even when you are in a relationship. You need to be ready for everything because when the relationship is causing your downfall, is causing you too much energy, then that, that relationship is going to be, hmm? you people are going to be separated. So not that there are people in there who are not married or who don't have children or who don't have a, a beautiful family life. There are some of us who have that beautiful family life. You need to pray. You need to ask. Your, <clears throat> sorry, you need to ask your spirits. You need to ask your ancestors to help you to find the right one. You don't have to rush 
into things, into relationships. So as said, you don't need to rush into um, relationships or oh, uh, my time is going now. Look, everybody have a child and I don't have. Everybody is married and I don't have. You sit down. You know you're the calling that is upon your life. Can you handle everything? I am telling you, I have the experience and I know that it's not an easy thing. It's not for everybody to find the right partner, to accept you for who you are, for what you are. It's not that easy. And maybe you, the people that you meet, let's say you being a traditionalist or maybe you being on your spiritual journey or having this calling, you come and meet somebody who is, let's say, a Muslim or a Christian, yeah? In the beginning, it will be like, oh, no, everything is okay, don't worry. But along the line, maybe it will be like, oh, can you stop it? Um, because I want you to become a Christian or I want you to become a Muslim or I want you to become a Buddhist or what, whatever. You need to think about all that. Yeah. And being a marina, being a water, a water child, fact is some of us are very bossy. Hmm? Some of us, even the women, we are queens, but there are some women who are also kings in there. Yeah, and our spirits forbid some of us to really calm down for a man to take absolutely control. Not that maybe they don't dis uh, 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 respect their man, but you need to be in a relationship whereby, in this case, the man is going to be the woman and you are going to be the man. So to find a man like that, sometimes it's hard. Because when you come from the, uh, um, 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 a, a Christian background, maybe you have heard it before, that the man is the head of the family. Mm? And then you being a water child, being that royalty, being a king, being a queen king or whatever. And you need to bow down. Your spirit will not allow you to do so. Because what is the problem here? Everything that you need has been provided. Your only problem, you have houses, you have cars, you have name it. Everything that you need, your water spirits have provided or your spirits have provided it already. Your only problem here is um, maybe a man or a woman to show up with. That's oh look. You see? Then... Um, uh, th someone was also asking me that whether we, the mariners, we cannot marry each other. Of course. But the tax is more higher. Mm? We can be very good friends. We can understand ourselves. So, there are some mariners who have made it, have married each other, depending on the calling that is upon your life. Like what I do. When... <laughs> I don't think that I can, it, um, though I've not tried it, I have not tried it before. Yes, I've dated a, mar a marina before, yeah? Someone who is a, a water child. Yeah? The understanding was there, the love was there, everything. But I mean, not someone with a calling. It's two different things, yeah? Those with calling, we go extra mile. We do more things, hmm? And those who are just, there are some water children, they don't have to do a lot. Once a while, they can just do their things. Like once a while, I will help him to do his rituals. I will do some work for him and all that. That one is a, total, is a totally different thing. Yeah. Than uh, maybe when you have the calling. <laughs> that we, we, we go extra mile. Mm -hmm. So two people being together on this journey, let's say. A babalao, yeah, or maybe two sangomas dating each other. They need really understanding. They need to understand their journey. Right from the beginning, they have to open all the cards very naked so that they will understand each other. Hmm? They have to introduce themselves to each other. Their ancestors need to under, uh, uh, introduce themselves to each other and they, uh, it have to be really accepted. It's not a joke. This is not boyfriend, girlfriend matter. Right from the beginning, it goes deep. 
Hmm? We cannot manipulate it. You cannot ma ma uh, manipulate a, a, a love life. It is forbidden. I have a program about it. Doing love spell uh, because you need someone, you want to be someone uh, as a Sangoma or as an Okomfor or as whatever. It is forbidden. We are not allowed to do so. Hmm? Let people love you naturally. Ask the, uh, the, the great mother, talk to, to your ancestors when really you feel that lonely. But one thing I don't want you to do to put in your head like, yeah, I've heard, I've heard somewhere, it's a little bit hot, <laughs> I've on the aircon. Um, I've heard somewhere that the water children, yeah, to marry is like this. Uh, nothing is impossible, but I've explained everything why sometimes it is like that. But don't put it in here that, oh, because I'm a water child, I don't think I'll ever get married or I'll never find the right, per the, the, the right person uh, because the, the great mother is very jealous and uh, the, the great mother used to get married to her own children and she don't want this and she don't want that. No, people, come on. She's a loving mother and she knows what is good for her children. She knows what is good for us. You know, sometimes you be with somebody even before you know that how, what, what type of person, what, 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 what type of person the person is. People, people can be very curious sometimes. They can come in your life as an angel, but later everything will come out. They didn't want the best for you. Sometimes the great mother can say that, oh, just, just keep on doing it. When you don't want to listen, just keep on doing it. Uh, have your experience as a human being. When you fall down, you know, when the fire burns you, you'll be like, oh, 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 oh. Hmm? you surely go backwards and you come back to the great mother and be like, oh, if I knew being alone would have been even better than to have that experience. But it is part of the human experience to know how wicked, how dangerous sometimes human beings can be. But still, we need each other. Mm -hmm. We are very busy. We do a lot. But still, sometimes we find the time. I know as far we are in this human body, there are days that you sit down and you be like, oh, why am I so lonely? Why nobody is understanding my journey? Why no one want to go with me on this journey? Because it is your journey. Everybody is on a different journey. You got it. So you cannot be expecting for someone to put, maybe you are uh, uh, on a journey with Obatala. Yeah. You are on a journey with your ancestors, only your ancestors. Yeah. I'm on the journey with my ancestors. I'm on the journey with, uh, um, with the great mother earth. I'm on the uh, journey with my, with my water spirit. I have a whole lot to do. I cannot put my own aside and come and carry your own. You know, or for us to combine it, like, um, what will you gain out of, of my own? It is my journey. Spirituality is an individuality. Yeah, so even when we come together, let's say two of us, we have a calling. When we come together in love, understanding everything, the understanding starts with me knowing that, yes, you have a calling and you have to do your things this way and I have to do my things this way and we just try to support each other. There will be some days in the month that maybe some rituals, we can do it together. But there are some things still, you need your privacy. That's what I was saying the other time when it comes to the water children, that some of us, we have an extra room, that there are days that we need to sleep alone, that our husbands or our wives don't have to sleep with us in that room. Everything has to be white. Everything has to be clean so that we will be ready to receive, message, uh, for, uh, to receive messages, it comes with a lot of things. It comes with a lot of discipline. So when you are ready and you think that you can live that life, all I will say, my people, my family, keep on meditating about, about that. Go after settling your, water, uh, uh, your, 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 spiritual, your spiritual spouse. That's the next thing that you can do. When they allow it, good. When they don't allow it, then it's like that. Go for consultation. Ask more about yourself or you yourself. Align yourself. Talk with your spirit very openly and find out more about who you are. Hmm? Some of us in the other life were married before. There are some people who come in this life and be like, okay, when I go the next time, I don't want to marry. I don't want to have children. I just want to be like this, you know, to concentrate on my journey because I've been on this planet for several times. I've always messed up and this time I don't want to mess up. 
So when, when you are tired of re reincarnating and reincarnating, coming over and over again, I said, you have been here before. Um, the other time when you were here, you were married. You had children. Yeah. Then you went again, coming back. Now you made the promise that, no, this time when I go, I don't want to. Of course, from the moment you pass through the birth canal and uh, you are coming to, uh, 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 to this world, it is not that easy. We forget a lot of things. It's along the line we start to remember. Yeah, so when you made that promise, there are some people who are on their own. No matter what they will do, they will not get married because that is their soul contract. That is the contract that they signed before they came here. So despite that, A is getting married, B is getting married, they will also get uh, the like to try to get married. But it's not, it's not, working, it's not working out. Because they cannot break that contract. Maybe when they break that contract, something will happen. Yeah? Or they were married, they were in a relationship, and a lot of things happened. A lot of things didn't go well. So they will sign that contract, that one too. So being uh, uh, on this spiritual uh, journey, everything that happens, try to find out why is it like that. Apart from the physical one, that maybe there are some people, naturally their characters too, they have a very bad character. You know, that everything they would like to use the spiritual, use the spiritual uh, to judge it. That, um, you know, because it's uh, this, that is why it's like that and um, use it to cover things. There are some people, they don't respect their partners. There are some women, when they open their mouth, when they are talking with their partners, when you hear it, you'll be like, show you don't talk like this to a king. You don't talk like this to a queen. So you need to check all those physical aspects too. Why it's like that. Hmm? Then there are some of us too who enjoy just being on our, on our own. You can be on your own. Who I enjoy my own company. Sometimes I need it. When my man is not around, I really use the time maybe... When it's on a business trip or whatever, I just use that time for myself. I learn. I'll be in the prayer room. I have things that I have to do. I meditate. I need to take care of the house. I have other things to do. And um, yeah. There are some rituals that I'll be doing that he's around. There are some rituals that I'll be doing that I don't even need him. I don't need him around. What about that? Because it's my calling. You don't have to. Some people used to stress their partners too much about this calling that they have. Yeah? The whole house is full of different things. They will go outside. They will be buying things. The whole house is different, uh, full of different things. Uh, the sage in one corner, this one in one corner, this and this and this. You need to cut your coat according to your size. Get someone who really understands your journey. <laughs> Sorry, because when you don't get someone who understands your journey, it is always going to be a problem. It's always going to be a disaster. And it's not just done like that. I'm not telling you to do a love spell, but there are other things that you can do to call upon your partner. Call them. That is only when on this journey you are going to have one. Or your contract was a different one. When you sign the contract. That this time as you are on this earth. You are not going to have a children. That is why a lot of people have children. They always have problems with those children. Because it was not in their contract. They have broken. A lot of people have broken some contracts. A lot of people have partners. That actually those partners were not, are, are not made for them. So no matter how hard you try, no matter whatever that you do, honey, honey, um, whatever, at the end of the day, still it's going to break. I know it doesn't, it's, it doesn't sound easy, but when it comes to spiritual things, they are very deep. Because anything that can cause, cause, your, cause your, down, your downfall, your spirit don't assist it. And they will not accept it. Because it's not easy like that. You know, just to have that fun um, of everybody is getting married. So me, too, I want to get married so that I'll not be alone. Uh, you can go adopt a child too, you know. 
there are people there are people around sometimes you can even get to know someone who who uh, um, um, who will just be around you as a good friend to assist you in everything that you are doing, but without any um, uh, um, sexual uh, whatever. So think more about your journey. I would say think more about your journey. Um, go for consultation. Yeah, there are some people who cannot go for. Talk with your spirit. Sometimes all you need is some quiet times. Ask questions. When you are alone, you need that quietness. When it's very peaceful, when you are mindful, when you have that awareness, that consciousness about the life that you are living, this world is sometimes too loud that you cannot hear. When you're not careful, you not even hear when your spirits are talking with you. It's not everything that you come across or that come across you is for you. And the life that is made out here is not for all of us. That is why I said a lot of us, some, uh, some of us really enjoy that loneliness, being alone. That is where people get more messages. Because when it is too loud, when you are too much with people, I have days I really enjoy being around people and I have days I just, I just, <laughs> I just want to be alone. I don't want to see anybody. And it's okay like that. Because we all are on a different journey. And who said that marriage Marriage is not made for everybody. I have a program about it on, on my YouTube here. Especially when you come to we the spirit, uh, on, on this spiritual journey. Not everything that you see outside there is made for us. We have a limit. And you need to be careful. People that you choose, people that you allow into your space. Not everyone. Sometimes your own husband can be the cause of your downfall your, your spirit, on your spiritual journey, that you are not growing. Your own wife can be the person who is bringing you down, that you are not growing on your spiritual journey. What about that? I have had people who used to tell me that, oh, when I was with my wife, when I was with my husband, I was not, I was not growing. But since I'm alone, it's like I'm more powerful than before. How come? That means they were not with the right partners. Or they are really made to be alone. Being alone doesn't mean that they feel lonely. We need to know the difference between these two. Then there are some people who are really feeling lonely. They, can't, they, they don't appreciate their own company. When they are alone, they don't know even what to do with their time. So today, I think um, the video is getting a little bit long. So imagine this video, I've taken almost 30 minutes and I still, I have more to talk. And I cannot finish it. I hope this will help you on your journey. I don't want you to feel sad. No. Vibrate higher. Be happy that you are among the chosen ones. Be happy that the calling have fallen on you. Your spirits will take care of you. They will guide you. They will send the right people into your life. That have to be your prayer. That have to be your request. That have to that is what you have to med do meditation about. Call up for the right people who have to be in your life to support you on your journey. Call upon them that you are ready now. When the student is ready, the teacher will surely appear. And when the teacher appears, you will not feel that lonely. And you are never even alone. So I'll stop here. I'll say.